Hey everybody. So not everybody knows that I went from having no business to up and running full business in 10 days. So that means I went from getting my LLC to my tax identification number to reaching out to a full team of people, branding, marketing, uh, digital techie team for online businesses, reached out to two coaches to help me with my fitness program. I think we ended up getting like eight sponsors and donating to a charity, which we were able to raise over $500 for in my very, very first launch. So we went from zero to hero in like 10 days, and we were able to reach out and get 100 women to do this online fitness and nutrition program, which is freaking awesome because one, it's amazing to be able to help that many women and hopefully have the ripple effect so that they can help women. But like to actually do what I love and make money doing it enough to support my family. And, um, that's pretty cool. Uh, so what I want to talk to you guys today about is how to get your business from basic to bold or from struggle to success or from poor to profitable, right? So the only thing is, is I had to put some, put some uh, notes down because I tend to get a little squirrely and I want to make sure that I'm pretty clear on what I'm saying so that you guys can maximize your business. And this is only, I want to say this is not even like less than a fourth of how you can maximize your business, but these are probably the top six things that I did within the 10 days that really, really helped me become successful. And, um, let's do it. So first and foremost, which doesn't even count as my top six is do what you love, do what you're passionate about, do what makes you wake up in the morning. Because before I actually got this like excitement to do the little black dress project, I was pretty depressed. I didn't want to get out of bed because I had lost my job and I didn't know where I was going to go. And I didn't know which way was pulling me to, I'm one of those people that feels like they're good at a lot of things and loves doing a lot of things and is happy doing a lot of things. So to find that one thing that really gets me out of bed and gets me straight to my computer and gets me excited to do it is this little black dress project. And so find what you love, find what you're passionate about. And if you don't know, just keep moving forward, keep rediscovering yourself, keep learning, because as you're learning, you might realize what you thought you loved is not exactly what you end up doing. So giving you an example, my husband had a business called Integrity Human Performance, and it was about kind of like a life coaching approach. And by him learning every little bit of how to work his business, he ended up being a branding and marketing guy and he blows that stuff up. So you might find what you're passionate about and what you love through learning the process of the business of what you initially think you want to do, if that makes sense. Um, so do what you love and the money will come and you, the reach will come. Okay. So not only that, let's see, we're just, I'm going to go in the order that I had put on my paper. I suggest getting a branding marketing coach because that will save you so much time. You have no idea the reach you can have if you have the right target market for what you're selling or what you're um, trying to show the world, um, how to man not manipulate, kind of manipulate Facebook and other social medias to maximize your reach. Um, I'll tell you this, we had such a huge, like massive, like thousands and thousands and thousands of reach within the 14 hours that Facebook shut me down, shut it down because I mean, it makes sense. They need to make their money for being able to benefit my business. And, um, but that's a beautiful thing because that means if we have that kind of reach, if we started with Facebook ads and we started with, uh, the knowledge of a marketing person, then the next launch is going to be even crazier. Um, I also think getting a digital team. So somebody that does your, you know, your opt-in page, if you don't know what an opt-in page is, that is just the... When somebody offers something free, it pops up and you have to give your email address so that they have your contact information. So if they send out stuff, you get it. Somebody that um, does your page for your launch. So like 
mine was a fitness and nutrition program they're the one that will set up the page so that when somebody goes through the payment process and they go through the process of looking what it is that you're even selling um, they do that and the sh shopping cart it is crucial and we've learned things through our experience that the shopping cart is smooth because I can't tell you how many times I've gone on other pay their other pages and tried to buy something the shopping cart didn't work or you know certain codes didn't work or um, it kept like being super confusing if it's confusing you know how many people you just lost that you could help there I mean me personally if I get too frustrated I'm just like F it like not been to be thank you God for telling me I don't need to spend this money but in actuality if you are giving something very very meaningful like this fitness truth nutrition program is not just a fitness nutrition program it's support it's accountability it's getting people's emotions and depth and it just means so much to me so I really want to be able to get all those people um so make sure that you have a good team working for you branding marketing digital team that's your number one number two build your list so before you even get to a big launch of selling your product make sure you have opt-in pages that are giving off freebies like workout plan for me it's like workout plans or you know my top five this or um nutrition plans or whatever have you and then they opt in so they put their email in and you have them in an automated email sequence that you're creating if you don't know what that is that will be part of your digital people will help you out make sure you know what that is because everything in business online is about your contact list if I have a promotion if I have I mean if I have friends that have promotion or whatever it's your list that you can send to that you're intimately connected to I don't know if intimate friendly something you're connected to these people because they opted in to something that you offer and they haven't unsubscribed so that means you're not giving them crap um, so those are people that have faith in you and trust in you and um, you can reach out to every time you have a new launch example being we have four launches next year and my list is at a hundred now goes from zero to over a hundred and then as my eight-week programs going on I'm gonna have an opt-in page that's offering you know maybe I'll offer like a free 12-week workout plan because I want to share I know what I got is good and I want to share it with people that need it so while I'm doing this eight-week program I'll be getting more contacts on my general um, contact list so I have my list on MailChimp for my little black dress ladies that I'm doing an automated email sequence but then I'll have a list of general people that I'm sending emails to randomly just keeping them updated keeping them motivated keeping them inspired and then the reason this is so important is because we will go on to building partnerships so what's that mean <sighs> because you're you have your list so that's number one that's like super number two super important to have your list now you're building partnerships that will help your product benefit your people or your in your product so what I mean by that is I have like eight different partnerships for my program all the partnerships that I have will benefit the people in my program and actually relates to so an example being somebody that's a partner that would really not relate to my people would be um, okay so I wanted to partner with a construction company well that really doesn't help my people at all and um, to be honest we don't like it just doesn't have anything to really do so the reach wouldn't be as significant now partnering with Muscle Club Apparel who's a fitness clothing company to offer mad discounts to just my people and yet it allows them access to my people too to help their list then I have Bella Moda who is a lady outfit dress company who's offering also big discounts and um, some surprises in the program later on she's gonna have access to my list so not only say she had this list now she has potentially another hundred so when she offers promotions she will have her list and then the people that opted in to buy stuff from her on that list meaning she might have access to if we want to talk profit and money thousands and thousands of dollars over the years because she got a list from me from people that trust me that now trust her because I partnered with her 
other ones. We have Pillow Talk, which is an awesome boutique that sells women's clothes, like comfy lingerie, um, real cute, unique uh, jewelry. And then we have the Thong Drive, which is really fun, like online thong service that they send to your house and stuff like things that like ladies would want going through a fitness program okay we have cryotherapy so that really could benefit anybody just helping your body feel good um so what that does for them and me is one it builds excuse me goodness it builds benefits to my program because the all my people are getting these great discounts and helping with their journey, their fitness nutrition journey. And then all the people that I partnered with have access to my clients because I'm going to be promoting them through the automated email sequence, which and ultimately in the long run will get them more contacts on their list when they offer promotions and boom, everybody benefits, everybody. So does that mean I couldn't? Oh, and this is another thing. I just got called today about a meal prep service, like a super popular meal prep service. And you want to know why they contacted me? Because I love what I do and I'm passionate about it and I give excitement and I give emotion and I do, like, I wake up to do what I love to do and that's helping all these women. And they contacted me because they want to be a part of the Little Black Dress Project and offer mad discounts to my ladies, like bigger than I've ever even seen discounts. Um, so they can reach out to you and they see the benefits as well as long also they believe in my mission of helping people so the opportunities to build your contact list and have this massive reach all over the world is insane you can have as many partnerships as you want that relate to the product that you're offering sorry my daughter's being funny what okay and so that's why that's important. We also partnered with a non for profit that's an also uh, breast cancer awareness um, and supporting the survivors, breast cancer survivors. That also relates to um, our program. And then she is also able to promote us in the fact that we could help surviving breast cancer people with nutrition and health and feeling better and maximizing how their outcome might be because their body is healthier. Um, all of that was purposeful because we want things to mesh well and that everybody benefits at the same time. Okay. Um, the next one is when you reach out for partnerships, this is something I learned because I only had 10 days. Make sure that you have all your promotional material ready, your Facebook ads, your um, picture promotions, your uh, status promotions, even to the point where you're telling them these are some example statuses that you can post that will make it as easy as you possibly can on your partners um, because they're busy. They got things going on there. Um, their businesses is booming and their contact list and their email sequence and blah, blah, blah. So try to make it as easy as possible. And then when you have all this information, you just like edit it a little bit and then it will be there for the next promotion and the next promotion and the next promotion. Um, developing partnerships also allows you to develop really strong friendships with the people that think like you, which is awesome. Like put yourself in places where you can learn and grow from people that are above you and right there with you. So that's pretty exciting. Um, also, if there's um, something that's great with partnerships is they can do pitches for people that they're partners with. So give you an example. Um, I have Bella Moto, Bella Moda, who does all the dresses and stuff. She did a pitch to another guy who does all women empowerment that has a huge reach to women. So make sure that email pitch that she sends to him is already done. And all she has to do is edit it and tweak it to make it more original for herself. Um, and we ended up getting another partnership through him. So having like the tear effect, the, you know, connections or whatnot. When you, again, when you do what you love and you know what you do is going to benefit people's lives and what you have to offer is really good, it will have the ripple effect in the partnership line. So make sure that's solid. All right. 
another one, residual income. So all I've been talking about is like online businesses and stuff because that's really where it's at. If you're working a nine to five, I mean, if you have like an actual location business, that's great, but really taking your business online, working from home, developing products. Like I said, there's a lady that is a millionaire who teaches people how to knit all over the world. And you know what? People love it. They love it because there's knitters all over the place. And she develops programs, online programs, teaching people how to knit and they buy her program and they're so happy and in love and blah, 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 because she's a good person. Whatever it is that you love and you want to do, you can... Um, what's it called? Like, um, I can't think of the word, make it into a program or a product that you can sell online, reaching out to more people. So to maximize your reach, make sure that you are like thinking about putting your monitor, monitor, monitorizing. I can't say that word. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, make sure you're thinking about how you can Put it together into something that you can sell online so that you can reach more people. If I was a trainer in the gym, how much reach do I have, really? What, if I work a 12-hour day, I have 12 clients, whoop-de-woo. If I work a 12-hour day doing my launches, I have the potential to reach thousands of people. And you know what? I absolutely freaking love it. Like, this group has made me so emotional because, like, being able to donate to people, being able to connect with so many like minds, being able to know that I'm impacting people's lives. Like I get people sending me text messages and voicemails and little videos on my computer with their, the mom and the daughter saying how grateful they are. That makes my heart so full, so full. So I absolutely love what I'm doing. So do what you can to figure out how you can take what you're doing now online because you won't regret it. You. <laughs> It's amazing. It's amazing. And I love being able to, uh, some days I know that I might not be able to work very much. I can work anywhere. I can work from my car. I can work from my house. I can work from the gym. So I'm not really missing now on as much family time. I'm able to do everything since my work can go everywhere. And last but not least, this is a fun one. Like I said, there's tons of ways that you can build your business and if you have any questions please just inbox me because I can send you to the right people and get you going okay this I just want to share the knowledge that I'm learning through my process so affiliates <laughs> this is funny so affiliates are people that you reached out to that you know their uh, followers are pretty similar to what you're offering um, and that you think what you're offering could actually benefit their followers as well. I'll give you an example. So I reached out to people specifically in fitness, specifically in fitness, people that don't actually have the same exact niche as me because I only work with women for the most part. I have um, contest prep on the side, so I have male competitors that I work with, but I specifically reached out to people that weren't in the exact field with of me and even a few that were were in the field with me because you know what? Not everybody is going to want to work with me. I've had people that say I cuss too much. They probably don't want to work with me and that's fine. I can give them somebody else. So regardless if I'm in the same field as somebody else, we all grow together because they now have access to my contacts and they're in the same field as me. So then when they offer promotions, they're getting building up their list simply because they helped me and they're going to get more people that uh, resonate with personality, you know, protocol, how they do things. So before you shoot yourself in the butt, and I even had some people that said, no, I will not promote you because um, that will hurt my business. I understand the fear. Oh, Good loud do I understand the fear. Being an entrepreneur myself and my husband being an entrepreneur, it is scary as blop starting out. That is why in next um, launches that we have, we're going to sponsor an up and coming entrepreneur. Um, they'll have to send in, you know, application process and a bio and all that stuff. Because when you start off as an entrepreneur, it is effing hard and it's scary and there was times when we didn't know if food was going to be on the table or like, are we going to be able to pay our bills? Like I would cry, I'd be depressed. But when you do what you love and you know how to reach out to people and connect and have affiliates and partners, 
and you give without expectation because even with some of my partnerships, I just said, hey, I want to promote you. I want to do for you. You don't even have to promote me. I just want to be able to bring what you offer into my to my ladies. Is there any way that you can offer a special discount? It will come back around. People see the goodness out of it. So before you shoot yourself in the foot and say, no, I will not like partner with you because I'm afraid that you're going to take my people, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Seriously, I'm not joking because the people like Danea and Sarah, they didn't make very much off this launch. Now they both have access to 100 people on their contacts list. You think after this program, when they're doing their automated email sequence and they offer promotions and specials and all that stuff and opt-in pages, starting off with an extra 100 people is freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Because there will be people on my list that either unsubscribe because we don't fit or want to reach out and actually do both. So say I offer this like exciting weight loss program and then somebody else offers something in January and I don't, then they might want to hop onto their thing. Or say I don't offer, um, I don't know, contest prep programs very much. They will be able to go to a contest. on the couch. That's okay, baby. I'll get her. I'll get her. Thank you. Say. Go tell her. No, you tell Okay, just give me one second. So anyways, an affiliate. That means reaching out to people, giving them your promotional material, the emails and all that stuff that's already automated, telling them, hey, if you pitch for this product that I truly believe in, that I think will not only help your people, it will give you more contacts and you can make a certain amount for every single person you refer, you might want to jump on that bandwagon. I know I would. I know I would. If it fit with my company, um, especially fitness, I would have. But you start to learn who is still surface thinking and who is surpassing that into thinking like, I want to do bigger and better than the status quo. Status quo entrepreneur meaning. Um, so that's all I have to say. One, getting branding marketing coach with your digital team, really trying to take your business online. Two, building up your list. And by doing that, that's getting partnerships and affiliates, like you're building each other's list together. Um, when you reach out, making sure that your promotional material is already in place, it's already set up. All they have to do is edit it for their own personality to promote, meaning like pitches, email, social media, those kind of things. Uh, residual income, developing programs, memberships, things online that are already online that stay online that at any time during the year people can buy. Example being, I have a 12-week workout program and I'll send it to you. It's already online. Everything on the back end is already done. So people click, purchase, pay, send out to them, done. That's residual income. means you didn't do a darn thing after you created it. That is about putting things online. And then six, affiliates. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. If somebody that is up and coming reaches out to you, um, it's probably because they believe in you and they would love to work with you and they know that and trust that they would want to share their list with you and maybe do future launches with you and maybe when I'm doing motivational speaking events, contact you. Or maybe like the meal prep service guy that reached out to me. Maybe when I go do a huge boot camp and have girls kind of like Nicole Wilkins does and have fat camp or whatnot. Maybe I want that meal prep service at my event. When you develop friendships and partnerships and affiliates like that, Gold, baby. Gold mine. And the reach is unlimited. Like I said, I have girls in Japan, in Liberia, in Australia, and all over the U.S. for a very first launch from a business, from no business, to launching my business in 10 days. And you can do it too. These are just a few things that you can do to maximize your business. And I hope that this helped you. If you have any questions, just contact me at Jacqueline at JacquelineSabatka.com. You can look me up on Facebook at Jacqueline Spotka. You can look me on Facebook at Jacqueline Spotka Online Coaching or my Instagram, which is J-E-Z-E-D-I-K-E-R-01. That is J-E-Z-E-D-I-K-E-R-01, which was my maiden name before I got married. I hope this helps.